There is no pride involved in my message to the world. I speak of atonement with utmost humility to all, the living and the dead, to whom I cause pain and death. When I am king, all men are my children. I am like a father to them. As every father desires, only the good and happiness of his children, I wish that all men should be happy always. I am guilty of the most dreadful and merciless murder of a hundred thousand humans in this very land. I wish not death embrace me early and I live a full hundred years from now so that I devote every moment of those years in redemption and repair of my misdeeds. I shall spend every moment of my present and future in spreading the message of my life that peace, love and compassion alone can resolve any conflict. Welfare of all living things on earth is the only goal for the rest of my life. I shall strive to reach all humanity with folded hands to listen to me. Let posterity know of my journey from dreadful slaughter to righteous practice. indelible impression on human history with his transformation from Chand Ashoka to Dharm Ashoka, Ashoka the Terrible to Ashoka the Righteous. When we look at entire human history, there's always been a struggle between violence and non-violence. There have been powerful representatives of both war and peace. Conquerors, invaders and dictators like Alexander the Great, Chengiz Khan, Hitler and Idi Amin, who believed in war with humanity and who were slaves to their own violence and thought victory lies in dominating others. There have also been powerful pioneers of peace, love and compassion throughout history like Buddha, Jesus, Gandhi, Martin Luther King and Nelson Mandela, who with sheer trust in peace ruled and have been ruling the unseen empires of human hearts.